as a candidate who's considering sitting for the BCS level for certificate in IT or generally the BCS higher education qualifications, should you train with a training provider or should you self-study? That's what we're going to look at in today's video. And I promise this is going to be a very short video. <music> So, you're considering sitting the BCS HEQs, known as the Higher Education Qualifications. And if you go on the BCS website, you'll see that there is the option to self-study. The syllabus is there. You can choose to study on your own. But then, the question that we're tackling today is, should you do that? Well, I think that your response to that question would really depend on one main factor. And that is, how much of IT experience do you have? How much of IT experience do you have? By IT experience, I'm not talking about can you use a computer? No, I'm talking about actual IT experience. So at level four, there are three papers. There's software development, there's information systems, and there's computer and network technology. It might be a good idea to first go over the different syllabuses so that you know what they each entail. And by the time you do that, you're likely to discover something. If you do not have any IT experience, if you've not been in IT, you might not exactly find them to be as easy or as straightforward as you probably assumed that they were going to be. Uh, and I'm saying that because I hear a lot of people saying things like, oh, it's a simple exam, you can do it and you just pass. And since the pass mark is 40%, it is easy to pass. Well, first of all, I don't think you should be aiming for 40%. Secondly, I can tell you from experience, having trained on this program, that it is not as straightforward as you would be misled into thinking. So if you do not have IT experience, my advice would be find a training provider or find some other way of getting trained. Obviously, that advice is biased. I run TWIM Institute, which is a BCS accredited training center. And so we are accredited to train people for the higher education qualifications. So in that sense, I am biased. But yes, I think that training goes a long way. If you train with a center like TWIM Institute, we try our best to ensure that it is as practical as possible. We provide training on campus in Ibadan, Nigeria, but we also provide online training, which we deliver through our e-learning portal. And um, we host live revision classes once the exams begin to approach. So live revision classes that take place via Zoom so that you have that live feel of being in a class. I think that we have a very good package and I think that it really is helpful for somebody who's trying to cross into tech or who is trying to get, gain a career in tech. So anyway, that is it. If you're interested in registering with us, head on to our website. We have a website where you can do all of that. It's known as globalquals.com. Global Quals, Quals for Qualifications. So globalquals.com. Head over to that website, search for the HEQs, and you can register with us. We will be happy to train you. So that is my video for today. I promised that it was going to be short. And I think I have kept to my promise. As you would see, it is not a 30 minute video or a one hour video. It is very short. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click on that subscribe button. Do it right now. See you in my next video. Bye.